Hey, collective. Good morning. It's your girl Stacy from the Vine Guys Tarot. Hey, to do quick reading, quick energy read. Remember that time is fluid. So whenever you see this message, it's when you're meant to see it. It's a general reading. Then it may not resonate with everyone, so please only take what resonates and leave the rest. I was um, cleaning up and, you know, straightening it up and stuff and then I start hearing this nursery rhyme. I hear it a lot, actually. I don't know. And it's, where is Pinky? Where is Pinky? Here I am. And I keep seeing somebody playing with a baby. Playing with the baby's feet. Baby's toes. I don't know. If that resonates with anybody. I hear it all the time. Could be ooh, spirit. Could be somebody's ancestor. Could be a mother or a grandmother. You already know, right? Message from the ancestors. Let's see what this is about. Let's see what this is about. Why I keep hearing this. I feel like somebody's trying to get my attention. Alright. Spirit, what is this message? Spirit, what's the message here? We have cycles, the moon, and artisan, master, cycles, craftsmanship, learning, um, lessons, completing cycles, moon cycles, mastering a craft. Knowledge, hidden knowledge with the moon, things that are hidden. Somebody's a master at things that are hidden. Spirit, what's this math? What's this master? What's this message? Ooh, I'm hearing something like been here before. What well, we got here? Water. I'm telling you, somebody's very psychic, very intuitive. Mm-hmm. Plant, seeds, growth, um, seeding, planting seeds, knowledge, spiritual growth. Somebody's, somebody's becoming a master. What's this message? Shaman. Woo, come on now. <laughs> come on now. I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, somebody's becoming a master. Cycles are complete. You completed multiple cycles. Like this could be like multiple lifetimes. You are you are connected. It's like each lifetime you've you mastered something. About yourself, you know what I mean? Or about so some kind of work you do too. Alright? It's something that you do with knowledge. You see how this person is is, is uh, building the spiral and how they're working at it, they're crafting it, they're making it nice and tight. This is handcrafted. This is wisdom. This is your intuition. Okay, come on now. You could have a lot of water and earth in your chart. It's like you have this this open channel 
for information to flow through you and you use it to see I don't know if you if you speak or is it something you do to help others but it's like you help others to grow to to it's like you're playing <clears throat> it's like being a farmer okay say you a farmer of, of of corn or wheat you're a master at it you know how to do it you know what I'm saying You've done this over and over. You know how to plant the seeds, which is what you do, okay? And you know when to plant the seeds. You know when to harvest the seeds. You know when to do the chaffing. You know what I mean? The separation as it goes through the germination, all that stuff. You know all about it. You're a master at what you do. Thank you, Spirit. What's this message? You have an abundance of knowledge, of information. Of resources it's like you're teaching others how to how to grow how to plant their own seeds it's like um, in the Bible it says you, te you can feed a man for a day or you can teach a man to fish so they can they can um, eat for a lifetime right spirit what's the message actor performer mm. Somebody could think that you are an actor, you're fake, that you're performing, that you're hiding behind the mask, mm, that you don't know what you're talking about. Look at this in reverse. That you're not a master. Mm, come on, spirit. What is this message? Hunter, yep. Somebody could be could be attacking you, attacking your character, attacking your integrity. Somebody watches you. Somebody's been watching you for a very long time. It's like every step you take, this person tries to attack you in some way or attack your integrity. Tries to, um, you know, undermine you. Thank you, spirit. Ooh, we got a grandmother here watching over you. Your grandmother could have been the one that used to play with your feet, talking about, where is Pinky, where is Pinky, here I am, here I am, how are you today, sir, very well, I thank you, run away, run away, I, re I think I remember that, wow, I don't know, I just see the vision like kindergarten, you know what I'm saying? Playing kindergarten songs, sitting in a circle. This could be somebody that babysat you, watched you, okay? Maybe this person is, to, is trying to warn you about something. Ooh, that fell right out. Explorer. Mm, to stay true to yourself. To um, continue to be a free spirit. Don't to not to be afraid to uh, do things different, to be different, okay? To be that, uh, what do they call it? Somebody that um, um, paved new ways, an entrepreneurial kind of energy. Um, Y'all know what I'm talking about. Spirit, what's this message? Don't be afraid to go by yourself. Don't be afraid to walk this path alone either, Okay? Because it's, a, it's the path less chosen I'm hearing. Alright? So somebody knows what I'm talking about. I'm getting like allow. Allow how you feel and what you want to do. Just do it. Go for it. Do it. Even if it's different. Even if it's never been done before. Do it. Spirit, that's what I'm hearing. Thank you, Spirit. But yeah, there's somebody that um, that's definitely envious of you, okay? This person could be kind of cold towards you, but they have this envy for you. It's, it's like, like a, um, it, this could be a sibling. That's the kind of energy I'm getting. It's like. It's, it's almost like having a twin and your twin hates you. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying deep down inside your twin hates you. They hate something about you. 
Now, when I say twin, you could take that as a twin flame or you could take it as a sibling because that's the kind of energy I'm getting. It's like somebody close to you that's not, that's supposed to love you, but they, deep down, they hate you. They're very cold. This is an unemotional, they were never emotional towards you. They were never accepting of you, that kind of energy. <clears throat> I feel like this person is trying to, has been tracking you, hunting you, following you, could possibly have been for lifetimes. You hear me? With this hunter and tracking energy, this is a this is a very uh, envious spirit about this person, a jealous spirit about your um, how free you are. Mm, come on, spirit, how free you are. You know what I'm saying in your endeavors and what you do. You don't let anything hold you back. You know what I'm saying. You follow you follow your your belief, even. When it's not the popular thing Gardener, look at that Gardener, right on the seeding And the plant, cultivation You're creative you, um, You're making something out of nothing You're transforming in front of this person You're becoming all that All that you Feel like you can be And this person don't like that but see, this is a deep-rooted reason. Why does this person like this? Ooh, could be a mother. I told you it was somebody that should have been nurturing to you. See that up in the corner, right? Nurturing. Mother. This could be somebody that should have been nurturing to you. That And that's the energy I'm, I was picking up. Like somebody that... It's like... It's, it's almost like... Unnatural kind of energy. You hear me? Like how naturally you're supposed to feel I feel like this person doesn't feel Which is probably why I'm getting it Where is Pinky Something somewhere along the way This person grew cold towards you This person may have been loving and caring towards you When you were a baby I don't know I'm feeling My hands started doing this Like wiggling somebody's toes um, And then this person grew to be cold towards you For whatever reason Spirit what's this message Hmm. Spirit, what's this message? Teacher, wow. Knowledge. They're envious of your knowledge and that you're a teacher. Ooh, wee. You're a teacher and they were, and they were the performer. They were always acting as if and you are as if. You hear me? This is what this person is envious of. That... That how they pretend to be You are naturally mm -mm -mm. You naturally have knowledge you, you have ancestral knowledge You've mastered some things you mastered a lot and Even if it's just your emotions You hear me? Your intuition Yourself You become a teacher You were taught You were, you were, you were um, handed down ancestral knowledge you went, to, you went down the path less chosen you weren't afraid to be yourself. But you know something? In this day and age, it's easy for us to be who we want to be and who we are. Because everybody's doing whatever they want these days. It's easy to put on a mask and pretend to be. And it's also easier for those of us, right, that take the path less, less chosen. It's easier for us to show up too. These in these times, whereas back in our parents and our in our, in our grandparents' time, it was taboo. It wasn't safe to be out here and to be who you are. Like talking about this, doing tarot and stuff, it wasn't because there was no understanding. Now it's more accepted. So that's why you're getting the message of go for it, whatever it is, even if it's a path less chosen. It it, it doesn't matter. You have to be true to yourself. Thank you, Spirit. And somebody is envious of your knowledge. This is somebody that may have watched you as a child, you know, with your gifts and, and became envious of it because it came to you naturally, whereas they were they had to learn about it and, and you know and work at it to get to the skill set that they are at. Whatever that may be, but whatever it is, yeah, whatever. Okay, listen, the magician, I can't make it up, you are the magician, 
things come to you effortlessly because you have that power, that ancestral power. Come on now, uh, you are a master at manifesting, to at bringing things forth, at 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 bringing, uh, being fruitful. Come on now, we have a grandfather here. It says presence. Your grandfather's presence is here. These are things that you were taught how to cultivate. Okay. Maybe you and your grandfather did gardening together. Maybe you guys lived on a farm or you guys did nature walks or something to that effect. Hello? And you still do it to this day. And when you do it, you, you're reminded of the times you and your grandfather used to be, you know, out in a yard gardening possibly. Talking. Him instilling wisdom into you. Showing you how to do things. Showing you how to keep the, the plants from dying and, and pulling up weeds and what have you. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, Spirit. We got seeding and cultivation out here already. Teaching you wisdom. Mm. Lifetimes. Come on, Spirit. What's going on here? <coughs> Fire, passion. Some of you could play the violin. Some of you could be musicians. Some of you could play ulterior music, for whatever that means. Or you could do something different with your performance. I don't know. It's something different. All I'm, I know is follow your passions. Do what you love. Listen. Celestial, boundless. It's like the world is open. And it is. We see people going in and out of space today on trips. They paying to go. <laughs> they paying to go outside of the outside of the earth. Please, I'll wait my turn with my father. Thank you. <laughs> Please, I'll wait and see what you know what I'm saying. Mm -mm, I'm good. I'll wait my turn. I'll go when it's time to go. Thank you, spirit, mm, animal. Mm, follow your instincts. Follow your instincts. Do what comes natural to you. Ooh, I'm hearing you're a beast. Whatever it is you do, you're a beast. <laughs> Come on, spirit. Peacekeeper. Yes, yeah, somebody wants to disturb your peace. And your serenity. Yes, that's what they want to do. They want to disturb it. Listen, master ancestor DNA. They want what you got. Adaptation, but see, this is something that you learned. This this isn't something that somebody just go here. Now you have it. No, this is something that you had to learn. You had to trust yourself. You had to follow your instincts. You had to listen to your. You had to learn how to trust yourself because your instincts are your higher self. Come on now. Yes, inspiration, the Holy One, the Spirit, God. The one above all, the creator. That's what they, that's what they, listen, that's your inspiration. And that's what allowed you to be passed down this master DNA, this master knowledge. Because if you're, if you're one with the creator, so that means you're like so open to receive so much information. And do you know how much God going to give you? And somebody wanted to take that from you. Somebody wanted to take that from you. Be, be careful. Be careful of this person that's in your life. This person could be very um, cold towards you. Okay? They could be in, in, a, in a position of authority in your life. You know? They could be. But this person is very envious of you. Envious of your calling, I'm hearing. Hero. But it was in reverse. They said, you're no hero. You're no warrior. That's what they say. They say. We got right around the bottom. Their words. Mm-hmm. Mm, I heard you can't save them. Somebody said you can't save them. Mm. Or maybe it's a spirit telling you you can't save them. Maybe this is somebody you you once looked up to as a hero in your life. Mm. 
that you you thought very highly of, you know? That's I am hearing that too. Spirit, what's this message? Authority figure in your life. I'll be damned. This could be somebody's father. Take it how it resonates. Wow. You don't see this person as a hero. Mm. Your grandfather's here again. Here he goes. Hmm. What's this got to do with the grandfather? Coach, mentor. Hmm. Maybe your grandfather was your hero in your life. What's this message? I don't know if some of you guys had um, an absentee father or a bad, not so healthy relationship with your father. Maybe your father was very controlling, very authority figure, third figure. Maybe this person wasn't emotional, was a type that boys ain't supposed to cry kind of energy, very strict, very firm. Maybe this, this parent used to hit you. You know what I'm saying? To keep you in line, to 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 uh, create fear in your life, in in you, you know, to 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 uh, abuse their power. That's what I'm hearing. Voice, use your voice, singer. This is right under that passion again. Hmm. Your intuition. Hmm. Coach. Maybe this is something that you really don't talk about, but you I feel like you need to release this. You need to talk about this. I don't know if some of you guys uh, could do music. Put it in your music. Put it in your music. That's what I'm hearing. Thank you, Spirit. So that you can release it. Spirit, what's this message? Creativity, artists, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, put it in your music. And you're going to be a beast with it. Because you got the Holy One's inspiration. You got the freedom to do that. Mm. Alright, y'all. That's your message. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Deuces.